Hello, I'm Gina with the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport, Maine, and this video will show you how to put together a 3D paper building. And in this case, we're going to do the First Congregational Church of Searsport. And this is a pretty easy 3D building to make out of paper. So the First Congregational Church in Searsport is in the Greek Revival architecture style, and that was popular from about the 1820s to the 1860s. The most clear examples of why that's Greek Revival is the pediment in the front, the ionic columns, and the dentals. The Congregational Society in Searsport gathered on October 4th, 1815 with 16 members, including 14 women and a minister. As the center of community life moved into the village and the congregation grew, the society built their second building on Townhouse Hill, the present site. A bell cast at the Revere Foundry in Massachusetts was installed in the church's steeple. The sanctuary was dedicated on March 5, 1834, and the church underwent extensive remodeling in 1902. So to complete this project, you're going to want this paper template, and then you also will want something to color with, some a glue stick, scissors, and you might want something like glitter glue to help decorate at the end. So step one is to color. So go ahead and color your building on your template. And then step number two is to cut it out. And you should be able to cut this out completely with scissors. One thing to note is here, um, kind of at the edge of this folding area. You have to slice that and slice over on this side too when you cut it out. So when you finish coloring and cutting out, you should have something that looks something like this. And <laughs> the church in person is mostly white, so it doesn't take a whole lot of coloring if you want to make it look pretty close to what it is. Uh, so next step is to fold along all of the gray lines. So I like to start kind of along the bottom of the actual building and then do the roof and then do the fold flaps last. So we'll fold here and here and this corner. And then I'll do this fold flap here at the end and then we can fold this fold flap here. And then go over to the roof, fold that down. And try not to fold the steeple while you're folding everything else. Fold there. And then we have four flaps on the roof. Then we're going to attach the flaps in order. So they're numbered. So look around until you find number one. And there it is, fold and glue. So we'll put glue on number one and number two and then we'll kind of place them at the same time. And actually, it's a good idea to also put it on number three. So. We're going to put glue all over on the flaps of number one, number two, and number three. And then we're going to need to move kind of quickly to make sure we get them all placed before the glue dries. So number one, this one's a little bit tricky because we do want it to go kind of along that building line there and hold it in place for a second so that the glue can kind of start to dry and hold it in place. And number two, let's see how I'm pressing it down on the inside, but we do want that to line up on the back or on the front of the church with that little bit of building right there. And then again, we have to move kind of quickly because we have glue on all three of these first ones and kind of hold that in place. Okay, now we have number four, five, and six. 
Go ahead and put glue all over on those flaps. And again, we'll place them in that order. Number four, then number five, then number six. Okay. Four is done. And I'm kind of doing four and five at the same time on this one. You don't want, press, don't want to press too hard because you don't want it to come out, but you want to kind of make sure that it is in the exact shape that you want it in. And then moving on to number six before it dries. And so now you have all of your flaps in place and you should have a little building in front of you. And this is the time when it could be good to maybe use your glitter glue and add some decorations. You can make it festive for Christmas if you would like. And otherwise, there you go. You have your completed First Congregational Church of Searsport. And this is based on an actual building in Searsport, Maine. And I encourage you to come to the Penobscot Marine Museum and you can see it. It's not part of our campus, but it is located in the middle of our campus. And I am Gina with the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport, Maine. Thank you.